Hey guys, Hifto here, and today I'm back with an all new Top 5 video. Now as I'm sure we all know by now, villager trades are notoriously awful. Like literally a total ripoff 90% of the time. So today we're going to be exposing the absolute worst of these trades by counting down the Top 5 Worst Villager Trades. Note that we will not be including any trades from wandering traders, as those scammers deserve a list of their own. Whether you agree or disagree with my top 5, be sure to put your own top 5 in the comments below. Starting today's list at number 5, we have Novice Shepherds 2 Emerald for Shears trade. While by no means as bad as any of the trades to come in this list, this is still among the most pointless trades in the game, for two main reasons. Firstly, shears are incredibly easy to make, requiring just 2 iron to craft. Iron is a much more common material than emerald, so you'll almost always have more iron in your inventory than emerald. And secondly, on those rare occasions when you don't have any iron on you, the only reason you would desperately need shears would be if you were trying to shear sheep to make a bed. Well as luck would have it, villages are filled with beds. You could just rest up for the night in the village or steal a bed, rather than waste emerald getting shears to make your own. In at number 4 we've got leather workers trading 5 emerald for a leather cap. Now while any trade for leather armour could have been in this spot, I've picked out the helmet as the worst of the bunch, as it costs one more emerald than leather boots despite not providing any extra protection. The only reason anyone might want to craft or even trade for leather armour would solely be for cosmetic purposes as it can be dyed different colours unlike any other armour. If you're looking to be more practical however, iron armour is clearly the superior choice. It's not only easier to make than leather, but also provides far more protection, and has greater durability. Up into the number 3 spot, we have novice cartographers trading 7 emerald for an empty map. The first but not the last cartographer trade to make this top 5. This is a frustratingly common trade that will no doubt drain your emerald supplies as you try to level up your local cartographer. Not only are maps very easy to make, requiring only a compass and 8 paper, equivalent to 3 sugarcane, 1 redstone and 4 iron ingots, they're not an overly popular item, with many people seldom bothering to make one at all. While I personally do enjoy making maps to chart my surroundings, I would never even consider paying 7 emerald for an item I can so easily make with a basic sugarcane farm and a handful of common minerals. Sticking with Cartographer Villagers, our number 2 trade is 7 emerald for an item frame, sold this time by expert cartographers. Paying 7 emerald for what is essentially 8 sticks and 1 lever is a blatantly awful trade. While item frames are a nice decorative item that a lot of people like to use, they're just too easy to make yourself for this trade to ever be worth doing. Getting the 8 sticks is literally a case of mining just one log, while leather can be easily obtained from killing cows, horses or donkeys. Not to mention, this is supposed to be an expert level trade, so you'd have to have already wasted numerous emeralds on plenty of other bad trades to even unlock this trade in the first place. In today's number 1 spot, and officially the worst trade in Minecraft, we've got expert librarians trading 5 emeralds for a clock, otherwise known as a watch. While cheaper than some of the other trades on this list, this is definitely the worst on account of how utterly useless the clock is. Since previously appearing on my list of the top 5 most useless items, the clock has gotten no better in the 5 years since. An item that tells you the time of day when you can simply look up into the sky and see for yourself is pretty unnecessary. Even if you're mining underground, you'll always be able to tell whether it's night or day when you approach the surface, and given that most people mine below their home, it really doesn't matter whether it is night or day when you leave anyway. Not to mention, the clock itself is really easy to craft, using just 4 gold ingots and 1 redstone. So, even if you did desperately want a clock, for whatever reason, you'd be better off just making one yourself than wasting emeralds on this terrible trade. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, then please consider subscribing for similar Minecraft videos like this one, and whether you agree or disagree with my top 5, be sure to put your own in the comments below. And thanks for watching.